okay, hold on. So what I did was I, I had to unpack. So I just opened the whole thing up and I started finding ways of making a living for those things. How did you come about the course? I was standing in the snow for the mom. Yeah. Why don't you shoot him? Because, like, you know, one day, I'd like to do a phone app with an art one of the album merch. And he's like, yeah, actually, I was still thinking about doing my own merch. I was like, wow, that's a good idea. We should actually do that. It wasn't difficult because I let him do his sh yeah, yeah, and he let me do my sh <laughs> <laughs> I was like, Dad, I trust you, bro. What was the most challenging part and how did you guys overcome that? I've never seen like anyone do what we did, right? So it's like you're making it up. So in my head, I'm like, this is going to work. Like, because I don't have a reference, right? Everything, like, happened. So as we were doing it, we started getting into the flow of it, and then we're like, oh, shit, we're actually doing well. Yo, I kept blur on my face, right? Hmm? I kept blur on my face, right? I kept... I kept blur on my face, right? I kept... I know it's warm in the daylight. So it started off with one song, yeah. and then I started making more songs, and then we decided we're doing an EP with John. Then Bangy comes on board, and then the Lama Wolf comes on board with the artwork. Yeah. Then Lancer comes on board with the animation, and then I'm like, collab, collab, it's, it's collab, a collab, 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 like for real. Like it's like so multifaceted that like Bangy took what Stimaya Sekolita meant for him, and then put that into the, fa the fashion, into the clothes. I took what that meant for me, put it into the music. Mm -hmm. Lama takes that and puts it into the artwork. Um, but I lost takes that and puts it into the animation. So it's all like really like multifaceted, but it's a like, sort of like cross genre thing. But, and I don't think people have ever done that. The EP is based on my grandparents' story, right? My grandfather used to wear overalls to go to work. So I thought it would be a good idea to actually make an overall for the EP. Well, and then my grandma used to work in like domestic worker, like and stuff. So I put that in the music video. Yeah. So every part of it shares the story of my grandparents. The crazy thing is that those people came for us, yeah, that's for funny. nothing else. You know what I mean? So like that that's thing weird. alone, it, yeah. it was crazy because the line was going all the way to like the road down there. Yeah, but it was man, it was it was, <laughs> it was crazy, dog. It wasn't even a line. It was more like just like a crowd, a crowd going all the way down. I was like, who, who who's playing after? Me, like, <laughs> <laughs> trying to make something of myself. Do right by me and nobody else. Make mama proud. I hope that she's proud. Trying to make something of myself. Do right by me and nobody else. Make mama proud. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
I just performed. I feel great, man. I feel great. People came through and they'll listen to the EP tomorrow. Hopefully they get what I'm trying to put across, you know? So it's just like, it's all good, man. It's all blessings. We kind of get something that our seniors could never dream about doing. It's like bringing people together, bringing people to come to witness what we have done here. So it's like, yeah. very humbling.